Congress. By the way, a Senate Banking Committee hearing turned tense yesterday as Democrats and Republicans... I don't know if it turned tense or stupid, but go ahead. They clashed over President Biden's pick for top banking regulator. Earlier this month, the Biden administration formally nominated Sali Omarova to serve as a comptroller of cur the currency. The Cornell University law professor and Wall Street critic was born in Kazakhstan when it was part of the Soviet Union and moved to the United States in 1991. She became an American citizen in 2005 and over the years has testified numerous times as an expert witness on financial regulation. She also worked as a policy advisor in the Treasury Department during the George W. Bush administration. Yesterday, Republican Senator John Kennedy of Louisiana appeared to suggest she may have communist sympathies because of her upbringing. Take a look. You used to be a member of a group called the Young Communist, didn't you? Senator, uh, are you referring to my membership in the Youth Communist Organization while I was growing up in the Soviet Union? I don't know. I, was, I just I wanted to ask you that question. Senator, I was born and grew up in the Soviet Union. Yes, ma'am. But were you a member of that organization? Everybody in that country was a member of the Komsomol, which was the Communist Youth Organization. Because so, so you, that were, was, you were a member? That was a part of normal progress in school. Have you resigned? From the... Youth? From the young communists? You grow out of it with age, automatically. Did, did, you, did, you, did you send them a letter, though, resigning? Senator, this was many, many years ago, as far as I remember how the Soviet Union worked, was at certain age, you automatically stop being a well, member could, of the could you look at your records and see if you can find a copy? <clears throat> I don't mean any disrespect. I, I don't know whether to call you professor or comrade. Oh, my goodness. Senator, I'm not a communist. I do not subscribe to that ideology. I could not choose where I was born. I did not, I do not remember joining any Facebook group that subscribes to that ideology, I would never knowingly join any such group. There is no record of me ever actually participating in any Marxist or communist discussions of any kind. My family suffered under the communist regime. I grew up without knowing half of my family. My grandmother herself escaped death twice under the Stalin regime. This is what's seared in my mind. That's who I am. I remember that history. I came to this country. I'm proud to be an American. And this is why I'm here today, Senator. I'm here today because I'm ready for public service. A few things Oh, my there. God. Just... A, a few things. Um, you might look at that and think that Senator Kennedy is stupid. Uh, no, oh. he's not. He knew exactly what he was doing. He went to Oxford. This is going around in the Republican Party, people with Ivy League degrees, people that went to Oxford tried to play as dumb as possible for the cameras. Uh, they're not fooling anybody. That was just as cynical and hateful uh, of a spectacle, attacking somebody because they were born in a totalitarian, under a totalitarian regime, one of the most evil regimes in the history of, of this planet, and they're attacking somebody for having the, the, the horrible misfortune for being born under that regime and being indoctrinated from a young age. And he is trying to use that uh, against somebody who came over here. You know, you could have said the same thing about Solzhenitsyn, about Sakharov, about Gary Kasparov, the greatest dissidents in the history of the Soviet Union who went through the same thing because they indoctrinate little children. And here you actually have an American senator in the United States of America who is actually trying to attack a woman because her parents had the misfortune of being born in one of the most brutal regimes in the history of mankind. 
and that they indoctrinated her as a little girl, and he's trying to use that against her. And a woman who chose to leave yeah. and move here. And look and what she's here. done with her, what, what incredible uh, accomplishments in her life, and now wanting to serve. Serve and America. Be, have we served seen, up that? Have we seen an attack like that? since McCarthy. This was sick. This was really hard to watch. It, it, it made it, me want to cry. It was I've seen ugly. It, it, and, and, and we've seen a lot of ugly. That recently, was really that bad. Was, that was really ugly. It yeah. Really, 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 again, this is, this is a woman who didn't choose, as she said, where she was born. And uh, would, would they have, you know, cross-examined Sakharov that way, who was indoctrinated that way. I'm sure Gary Kasparov, who's been mm. harshly critical of the Putin regime, also went through these type of youth groups. That's what hap happens when you grow up in a dictatorship or a totalitarian regime like the Soviet Union. They indoctrinate children. They torture people. They do really bad things. And to think that she escaped that, willingly chose to come to the United States and serve Become an American citizen. Become an American citizen and then try to serve in this country? I just, I'm sorry, it's beyond uh. despicable. It is. It's despicable and completely clownish because, as you said, this senator knows exactly what he's doing. You could see that she was dumbfounded by the line of questioning but sort of composed herself and answered and told the story of, I, you may not know history, Senator, but we did not have a choice in the Soviet Union to join the Young Communist Party. And we escaped, thank God, and came to America. And now here I am waiting yeah. to be confirmed. If they had serious questions about her record, I know a lot of Republicans and people think she's anti-bank. Is she the right person to be overseeing the banks? Those are questions that can be asked. But that was truly, truly gross. The chair of Just the Banking awful. Committee, Democratic Senator Sherrod Brown, took on Republicans mm -hmm. and what conservative media have been saying about the nominee. Just a week after news of her nomination became public, the Wall Street Journal ran an op-ed, or maybe more accurately, a hit job. They highlighted she went to Moscow State University. They highlighted she received a scholarship named after Vladimir Lenin, neglecting to mention that pretty much everything in the 1960s, 70s, and 80s in the Soviet Union was named after Lenin. Besides, there was no Milton Friedman or Ronald Reagan scholarships available. They made outlandish, unfounded claims based on where she grew up. They say she believes the Soviet economic system was superior to ours, false. They accused her of wanting to establish communism rule over banking here in the United States, false again. They have a formula. Start with a passing and inaccurate reference to her academic work. Distort the substance beyond recognition. Mix in words, Marx, Lenin, communism. End with insinuations about Professor Omorova's loyalties to her chosen country. That's how Republicans turn a qualified woman into a Marxist bogeyman. These inflammatory insinuations continue to stoke the unhinged rhetoric that has poisoned our politics. Now, now we know what happens when Trumpism meets McCarthyism. It's a cruelty no person should experience. And again, the attacks go against the very people, John Heilman, that we should be the proudest of. The people that left totalitarian regimes and chose to come to America. Those are the people we in this embrace. Those are the people we celebrate. Those are the people that we welcome into arms. Does it mean that we have to support them if they, if they want to hold a position in government? But damn it, we thank them for coming to America. Hey, thanks so much for watching our YouTube channel. You can follow up on today's top stories and breaking news or catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.